today I've got another Taco Bell copycat recipe for you. Now Taco Bell has their new cantina menu out and they have it like in a taco form, a burrito form, a bowl, I think even a quesadilla. We're going to be doing the burritos today. I got my big the tortillas here that we're going to use. I've got a rotisserie chicken here. I think this was a mesquite. I'm going to chop this up and then I'm going to give it a good seasoning. And then we're going to chop up an onion so we can bulk this up and add more flavor. I'm going to take the chicken that I have here. Now this is just kind of the chicken breast off of the rotisserie and I'm going to dice it up. If you know my channel, you know I have a lot of Taco Bell copycat recipes out there. You can find them on my channel. All you have to do is search Taco Bell or you can go to my recipe blog and I'll type that out right here so you know how to find it. It's catherinesplates.com and you can search Taco Bell and all of my recipes will show up there. And they also are attached to the videos. So if you want to watch a video on how to make something, you can do that. All right, I've got this all chopped up. I'm gonna turn my skillet onto a medium high heat. Oh, it smells good. I'm gonna be making, I think, three or four burritos. It depends on who's here. I know me and Thomas are here. We're definitely making ours. <laughs> I don't know who else is here. I'm gonna clean off my board. I'm gonna chop up one onion. I'm using a yellow onion. We'll cook that down. Just follow the lines of your onion. I wanna really get this very fine. Turn your onion and then just run your knife through and you'll get some really fine dices. I'm gonna add that to my chicken. All right, let's get this one chopped up. These are gonna soften down, so I'm not worried about how much there is in there. It'll add a nice flavor. I tried their burrito because I had to try their cantina style there. It was really good, but I want to make my own. All right, we got that. Now what we're going to do is season our chicken. I got some taco seasoning. I'm about running out in there. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough. It should be. Now this is my homemade blend. You can also find this on my recipe blog, catherinesplates.com, or you can look up the video, which is taco seasoning, big batch. Ooh, look at the color of that. I love homemade blends. And we'll add another half. So I'm about two tablespoons. It depends really how much chicken you have going on in there. I'm gonna get some water. We're gonna add about a quarter cup. Ooh. Cover that up. Let's mix this up. I'm gonna cook this down until the onions are nice and soft. It should take about three minutes. Now, if you want to bulk up this mixture, you can add some drained corn to it, heat that through, and you can also add some beans if you like that. Refried beans, you can kind of mush that up under there. This is just heating everything up. You want everything nice and cooked. That is done. Look at that. Look at those onions, nice and soft. They changed color. All right, let's build up some burritos. Now we're gonna stuff our burritos with some shredded lettuce, Mexican style shredded cheese, now another cheese that you can use is a queso fresco. It looks like this here. I just crumbled it up because that's my favorite. Got pico, which has tomatoes, onions, some jalapeno, green onion, probably some lime juice. Hopefully it has some... Yeah, there's jalapeno in there and cumin. That would be a good flavor for that. We've got some red cabbage for some color and I love the crunch of it. So I'm just going to very thinly slice this. I got very little cabbage on the board here. I mean, just cut off one side of a very small red cabbage or if you wanna use the green cabbage or heck, if you wanna make it even easier, get some coleslaw mix and do that. I'm just gonna cut this in threes. All right, we're gonna build our burritos. Now, I've got two sauces that I'm gonna be putting on them and I'll show you what those are. We're gonna be using these grande sized tortillas. They're flour and you can find them in a 10 count. They're pretty big, which is good. It'll stuff everything in there. Now we're still gonna be cooking these up. 
All right, but you'd still want them pliable. We've got our chicken. Now it's cooled down a little bit as I got everything else ready. So we're gonna place this right in the center. Don't overstuff or you're not gonna be able to close it unless you're really good at that. I think that looks good right there. Bit. My husband's like more. There you go. Is that good? Yep. Lettuce. Cabbage. Some cheese. Some pico. Now this is the medium, so there's a little heat to it. You can also get it in mild or hot if you want to do that. Okay. Let me show you the sauces we're going to be using. We have a avocado lime ranch. We're going to just put a little bit right across the top. That looks good. Make sure everybody gets some. And then we've got some chipotle mayonnaise. This is a, let's see, mild. We'll go right across the top. We're going to tuck in the sides, bring in the edge nearest you up over the sides and the middle. And we're gonna keep tucking. Make sure everything is tucked in. Keep rolling till you get to the end. And that is our burrito. We're gonna make mine lettuce. Now recipes are subject to your taste. So whatever you wanna do with yours, if you wanna add something extra, you can. If you wanna take something out, you can do that also. I'm gonna add some of my fresco cheese here. I love the fresco cheese. And I'll add just a little bit of that shredded Mexican cheese. The green sauce right across the top. And the chipotle, just a little bit for me. There we go, perfect. I'm gonna let the kids make their own. We haven't seen them yet. They may be still asleep, I don't know. We're gonna roll it, tuck it all in as you go. You don't want anything to fall out. There we go. I'm gonna be using my griddle. I have it on a 350 degree heat. You can also use a skillet or your frying pan to do this. That is no problem. If you're making a lot of these, use your griddle. First, we're gonna spray, nonstick cooking spray. I'll keep them from sticking. Then we're gonna place it seam side down on the hot skillet. We wanna get these nice and toasty on the bottom side, nice and golden brown, nice and crispy before we flip them over. Let's take a look. Perfect. Flip it on over, flatten it down. All right, we're gonna get the other side golden brown. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna take these off. I'm gonna give them a try for you. Use a serrated knife if you're gonna cut these. All right, here's the reveal. Ooh, look at that. I'm going in for a bite. Mmm. That's delicious, mmm. You need to make your own. I love all those flavors in there. That chipotle sauce, mm, it's not hot at all, but it adds a nice flavor. Wow, y'all, you can do Taco Bell at home. Go check out all my other Taco Bell recipes that I've done, they're copycats. Give me a thumbs up on this one. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification, that way you'll always know when shows like this one here is posted. Y'all let me know your favorite Taco Bell item. I'll see y'all on the next episode.